This is another exercise we can try in Jamovi. This will involve a very familiar data set uh, where we uh, have uh, a measure of how many children are in each household in a particular neighborhood. And uh, this time around, what we're going to do is we're going to try to do um, a few things. I'm going to try to show you, one, how we can um, do a histogram. And then we're also going to look at uh, being able to uh, do some uh, other descriptive statistics, such as um, central tendency and variability. So what I am going to do is I'm going to click on this thing called stati statistics. And you're going to see it already has some uh, options uh, set up for me. So these are the defaults. You get uh, the sample size uh, missing. Um, cent for central tendency, you get mean, you get median. Uh, you get uh, you don't get mode. We're going to go ahead and get that. Um, you get minimum and maximum for dispersion or variance or variability. Excuse me. Why don't we go ahead and add variance here, just so you can see that. Um, and standard deviation is there by default. And let's go ahead and see if this distribution is skewed or not. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and add to plots and uh, see if we can create a histogram. So by the time we're done, we should have, you know, some happy means, uh, median and standard deviation and all that good stuff. Okay, so we should be in pretty good shape there. I only have one variable that I can highlight, so I'm just going to highlight this one, put it into the variables uh, panel. And as you can see, uh, we have 20 households. Um, nothing missing. The mean is 1.75. The median is uh, 2. The mode is 2. The standard deviation is 1.48, so suggesting within uh, these confines, you know, a fair amount of variability. You can see what the variance is. Um, and of course, remember that uh, uh, once you get your variance, uh, you get the square root of that, and that's what gives you your standard deviation. Uh, and of course, you can see the minimum and maximum values that exist in the data set. Uh, there is a fair amount of skewness, and there is a fair amount of positive skewness, which is one of the reasons why your mean is actually lower than your median. Um, in this case, uh, the uh, uh, a uh, number of households uh, that have, uh, um, you know, two or fewer children, um, uh, fewer than two children, are really, really dragging this down quite a bit. So that's one of the things that's going on here with this particular uh, data set because it is so skewed. And so you have, uh, you know, that sort of information right there. And you can take a look graphically and you can see just how skewed this is. If you were to try to impose a normal distribution, you would notice uh, that it's clearly not normal, that the tail itself is definitely longer in the um, um, right uh, portion of the distribution, which suggests to us positive skew. Okay, so that is um, a little bit of how you would handle this. Make sure to save your data when you're ready to do that, and then once you've done that, you are good to go.